You're gonna tell me which one of these is the fake article. Post Malone's mom gets <laughs> live, laugh, love, face tattoo. Post Malone's mom did not get that. Quentin Tarantino wouldn't get sick of filming anyone's feet. That man loves feet. Where is this article? I need to read it. Today, you're gonna be taking on a try not to fail challenge. A try not to fail? Mm-hmm. With the world being as crazy as it is, a lot of the news you see might sound too crazy to be true. I'm gonna put your ability to discern fact from fiction to the test with a spin on the classic game, Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game that we're calling Two News and a Lie. Mm. I think I'm better at like discerning like a person's like two truths and a lie. I'm gullible. I feel like I, you guys are gonna throw curveballs, So definitely gonna lose. So here's how it works. I'm gonna show you the headlines of three news articles. Two of the headlines will be true stuff that actually happened and one will be a fake story from a satirical news site like The Onion. For oh. every fake story you spot, you're gonna get a point and the reactor with the most points at the end will win the challenge. Onion articles are, they're hilariously plausible. I feel like The Onion is more of a legitimate news source than certain news sources out there right now. I'm ready. Let's do this. You're gonna tell me which one of these is the fake article. Round one. Okay. Dr. Marijuana Pepsi, who just received her PhD, said she won't change her name to make other people happy. Two, Netflix algorithm suggests viewers who enjoy Ozark will like pretty much anything. And three, <laughs> Sheboygan serial toilet clogger sentenced to 150 days in jail and probation. Oh, uh, Sheboygan? And I feel like personally attacked by the second one because I've watched the Ozark all the way through. Mm -hmm. And I like pretty much anything. <laughs> if someone was named Dr. Marijuana Pepsi, I feel like I would have heard about it. Like I, somebody would have contacted me. I can relate to the Dr. Marijuana Pepsi for not changing her name, so I I think that's true. I want to know what a serial toilet clogger is. I, I do too, but I have a feeling it is what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. In this pandemic, that would be like an actual issue because like we are like, we don't have much toilet paper and I feel like that would be a crime that would be punished. That seems like a fair punishment for right now. I'll probably just go for the obvious one and say it's uh. <laughs> I'm gonna say the lie is the Netflix algorithm. Just cause the other two are a little crazy. I think it's number two. Dr. Marijuana Pepsi. I feel like Pepsi would have sued her. I think it's between two or three, but I'm gonna have to say number two. I think number one is the fake article. I'm gonna say the fake one is the one about Ozark. You are absolutely correct. That is the oh, fake one. Yes, I knew the marijuana Pepsi one was real because I remember reading that on Twitter. I can't believe I got it right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to know about Dr. Marijuana Pepsi. Who is she? The only reason I thought it was number two was because like in the first episode of Ozark, someone gets thrown off a building and I don't think Netflix is like, everyone will like this. Yeah, you know, in hindsight, I'm playing the game wrong. It's going to be the most mundane one is the lie. All right, so you're one for one. Congrats. Okay, woohoo, yay. One, Lego Masters production shut down after some jerk sticks all the flat pieces together. Medical fetish site donates entire stock of scrubs after being contacted by desperate health officials. And three, Dr. Fauci, sexiest man alive, gaining steam. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't know who that is. Is he hot? <laughs> I mean, he's a piece of I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that's actually true. Like the medical fetish site, I feel like people would donate. The medical fetish that one is so spot on that I feel like you made it up. I'm just gonna pick number one. That's the headline I would click. I say it's the first one is a lie. <laughs> first one's wrong. I'd say number one. Number one's too witty. I'm, I'm gonna see the first one again. So in the first one, you're absolutely right. It is oh, the first yeah. one. Oh hell yeah. Do you think you'll be able to go perfect? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna get harder and harder. One, Florida troopers find narcotics in bag labeled bag full of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Two, seagulls keep couple hostage in their home for six days by attacking them every time they leave house. And three, Post Malone's mom gets <laughs> live, laugh, love, face tattoo. No way. Post Malone's mom did not get that. I can see seagulls keeping people hostage just because seagulls are No way that any of these are true. <laughs> Number one is just like some super troopers. 
I feel like three is the lie. Because I don't think Post Malone's mom would get a tattoo on her face. Do you know Post Malone's mom? No. It's gotta be number three. It's gotta be number three. Number three is fake. I think it's three. I'm gonna say Post Malone's mom. You are absolutely right. That is just Bro, a little bit too I am on fire! I am so good. Seagulls keep a couple hostage in their home. How the hell does that happen? Where is this article? I need to read it. Who do you call if seagulls are quarantining you? Dude, I don't know. Can animal control just get a really big net? One, Five Guys arrested after a fist fight at Five Guys. The second article is Fox Sports announcer Joe Buck pleads public to stop sending him sex tapes to call play-by-play. -play. And three, Quentin Tarantino getting sick of filming his own feet. Which one of these is the fake story? Five Guys arrested after a fist fight at Five Guys. I feel like that's something people would plan to do. Number two is true. I'm pretty sure he's like, I don't want to lose my job, but thank you. It's got to be the Quentin Tarantino one, right? Three is... Line. Quentin Tarantino. Number three. Quentin Tarantino wouldn't get sick of filming anyone's feet. Okay, again, I'm gonna go with the strategy I used previously and say that if the third one is true, I feel like I would have heard it by now, so I'm gonna say that's fake. That is a good strategy because you got that correct. Quentin Tarantino is not yes. sick of filming his own feet. He's still doing it every damn day. <laughs> he does it unshamely. Let's go! <laughs> that man loves feet! Teleconferencing pastor requests any worshiper currently speaking in tongues to go on mute. <laughs> Man who ate $120,000 art bananas said he would have done it sooner but wasn't hungry yet. And three, <laughs> Taiwan launches new baseball season with cardboard fans in stands. Number three could be legit because I've seen shows without live studio audiences and they're weird. Well, it's definitely not three, but one and two are both pretty believable. I'm gonna say second one is fake because I cannot possibly imagine a $120,000 banana. I say number two is the lie. I feel like it's gotta be number one. The first one is the fake one. One. Let's go with number one. You were right. <gasps> yes, dude. I'm, dude, my guessing game is on point right now. Murder. Knowledge is power and I have all the power. Churches can't meet in, in person, no one can meet in person, mm -hmm. so they have to do the whole Zoom thing, and mm -hmm. I can just like so see a pastor be like, hey, can you chill? <laughs> I feel like I just believed the banana one too much. Like if you're gonna spend that amount of money on a banana, you're gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, just a waste of money. A zoo has been trying to get two pandas to meet for 10 years. When coronavirus shuts the zoo down, the pandas finally did. Oh. Two, woman's attraction to chandeliers, not a sexual orientation. And three, CGI supervisor for cats thought he actually did an okay job. Which one of these do you think is the fake one? <laughs> these are hilarious. Chandeliers, really? Is that really even a discussion with like sexual orientation or attraction? I like the first one. I like that they waited. All right, the first one is true because I watched the live stream. I honestly, on this round, I have no idea. So I'm gonna guess and say that number two is fake. I'll say number two. I don't know, this one's hard. This is the hardest one for me. I am going to say CGI supervisor for cat number two. Number two is the lie. Nobody on cats thought they did an okay job. You are absolutely right, that is correct. <laughs> I just love the, the quote of, an okay job. I, I, like, it wasn't the best. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely not my best. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it was good, but I'm not just gonna say I fucked <laughs> it up. Like, I did my part, you know? I just wish that would happen, man. <laughs> I'm happy that the pandas finally did it once quarantine happened. <laughs> no one likes to be pressured. Yeah. I don't want eyes on me when I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow, give me like a gold sticker, mail it to me. Am I doing the best right now? The first person across Antarctica alone and unaided says he pooped his pants less than halfway through and had to continue using the same underwear for no. 38 days. Two, a university professor said, men don't recycle because they don't want people thinking they're gay. Three, movie theaters packed with frenzied crowds trying to catch last minute screening of Sonic before coronavirus hits. Which one of these oh do you think is the fake one? Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, the first one, I don't understand why he just didn't... on the ice, right? I saw Sonic the Hedgehog on Valentine's Day. 
meaning it was out at least February 14th. And the quarantine, I feel like, officially started in America on March 13th. So that's at least a month after Sonic came out. So if you were in such a frenzy to see it, you would have had a month to see it. So I think it's gotta be three. I'm gonna say number three. I think number three is the like. Second one. I'm gonna say the first one's wrong. I'm gonna say three is fake. <laughs> You're our winner. You absolutely crushed yes! it. Yes! Oh my God. I am so... Bro, my detector off the charts. I'm so good at detecting the within the... Oh my God. I feel like the first two were supposed to be fake. Cause it's just like, why don't you on the ice? And then the second one, what? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You did very well. Why was this so easy for you? You know, once you've gone through a lot of you just can detect. I have facial hair now. I'm a full grown adult. I'm on adults react. <laughs> I know, I know a thing or two about life. Do you think you're better than others at spotting now? Not just at spotting, just in general. I feel like it, it has brought some attention to my my ability to be naive. And so mm -hmm. I feel like I should work on that. So thank you for bringing me on this challenge because it's it's helped me with a lot of self-discovery. Hey guys, thank you for watching that episode of Try Not To Fail. What news is happening right now that you just can't believe is real? Let me know in the comments. I'll be there for the first 30 minutes. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys. Fist fight at five guys. Are you okay? I'm good, no, that's just the fun.